Hello learners of all ages. My name is Mr. Montgomery. I teach fourth and fifth grade math. And today we're going to be learning about comparing fractions with like denominators. Now, whenever it comes to comparing fractions or adding fractions or subtracting fractions, it's fantastic when the denominators are the same because it makes it super, super simple. We have our denominators, they're both four, which means that they're both in fourths. I can compare those really, really easily. So if they have the same denominator, that means I just look at the numerator to figure out which one is larger. Well, is three fourths greater than, less than, or equal to one fourth? Yeah, three is bigger, so I can say three fourths is greater than one fourth. Let's do another example. I have five eighths could be greater than, less than, or equal to seven eighths. Well, I see that both my denominators are the same. They're both eighths. So I just compare the numerators. I have five eighths and seven eighths. Well, which one's larger, five or seven? Seven's larger. So seven eighths is larger than five eighths. Now I have a problem that looks a little bit different here. I have both my denominators are both twentieths, which means that uh, we can compare those fractions. I have 15 twentieths is less than something twentieths. We don't know what that something is. In this one, we're supposed to decide what that number could be. Now there's more than one right answer, but there is one specific rule. My numerator cannot be bigger than my denominator unless it's an improper fraction. We'll get to that later in the year or in fifth grade. But we're gonna try to keep it less than or equal to 20. So the numerator could be 16. It could be 17. It could be 18, 19, or 20, because 16 is greater than 15. 17 is greater than 18, 19, and 20 are all greater than 15. All right, my fourth grade friends, if we take a look at page 149 in our workbook, you see that we're gonna be doing practice problems number two, four, and nine. For two and four, the directions say compare the fractions, write greater than, equal to, or less than. And then for number nine, number nine says write, the, write a numerator to complete the comparison. Uh, the sentence says two fifths is greater than blank fifths. If you have any questions on comparing fractions using the same denominator, please let me know when you come to class tomorrow.